Hello, today I'm pretty excited because I am going to be painting on ceramics that I got from the Dollar Tree. Hello? Mom, we're going to the Dollar Tree. Once upon a time, the Dollar Tree used to not be a liar. Every single object in the store used to be a dollar. In recent years, they've upped items to $1.25. And in my area, I walked in like last week and there were things that were $3 and $5. But these objects, I don't even care that they're $3. They are so cool. $3 for all this fun? That's a screaming deal. I'm pretty excited to paint all of them. I think I went, oh, when I saw the pair because that's ridiculous. I also obviously love the cupcake, but I'm just excited to paint on every single one of these. The first one I'm painting on though is the weird rectangle box thing. I looked at this and I said, what the heck is this for? There are so many possibilities. Possibilities, you know? I have a lot of paint. I'm pretty sure these two sets of paints cover pretty much every color I could possibly need at this point. The colors I chose for this are red, white, and black, which are kind of a basic combination. And no, it was not inspired by this plus $3 logo. That's just a weird coincidence, or was it? If you recall YouTube's logo, then you might understand what I'm about to do. What is this hole for? And why do all ceramics seem to have it? Focus, focus. <laughs> I am a YouTuber, obviously, and I actually don't have any type of YouTube logo in the background of any of my videos. I am in my new art room currently. I know I've been talking about my new art room for almost a year now, but then I got married and then I moved into my new place and then I had a baby. Things have just been crazy, okay? The background is almost there, and I'm sure one of these days I'll just randomly make a video and be like, hello, welcome to my new art room, art room studio tour. Woo! 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 I'll show you the new art room eventually, but until that time, I'm probably just gonna keep talking about my new art room as I sit in my new art room and not show you it. It's a secret. Shh. <laughs> anyway, I have decided to turn this rectangle thing into a YouTube logo with my own spin. I'm starting off with the basics, red, because the background of the YouTube logo is red. And I did have to do quite a few coats of this. You kind of can't tell because it's just painting red paint on top of red paint on top of red paint. And honestly, that would be boring to show you, but I did have to do quite a few coats of red paint. Maybe I should have added a coat of gesso. I thought gesso was just for wood, but maybe I'm incorrect. I don't know. Ooh, oh my gosh, this just looks so delicious. Am I the only one that wants to eat the paint but also can't eat the paint because it's poison? Haha, <laughs> uh, maybe it's just me. Anyway, we've pointed, pointed, painted, pointed, painted, painted, painted this whole, that was confusing. Again, what is the hole for? Maybe just for your finger? I don't know. I have totally covered this whole box in red paint. And now it's time to paint the YouTube play button in the center. To do that, we require some white paint and a paint palette. Ooh, delicious. In the center of the red box, I'm painting a white play button, which is a triangle. I know, I know this looks very basic, but honestly, have you ever tried to paint a scalene triangle with no ruler? Okay, it's a little bit more more difficult and complex than you would assume. But once I had painstakingly painted and repainted every single edge of this triangle, it was time to take out our colors. And I did multiple transitions of this, but here they all are. These are the colors I will be using. Since I create videos about art on YouTube, I'm technically a YouTube artist, but honestly, I don't even like that category. I think I'm more just like an arts and crafts type of person, but um, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, I wanted to customize the YouTube logo to represent the artistic side of my channel, which is basically my whole channel, but I like paint and I like things that are colorful. So I wanted to take all of the colors that I enjoy and create little paint blobs around the YouTube logo. I started off by kind of just blocking out where I wanted the colors to go roughly and visualizing it and being like, okay, maybe I'll put a blob here, a blob there. After I had painted the yellow one, I immediately knew that I hated it. I didn't like the placement of it. I felt like the shape was weird, but then I moved on. I was like, no, let me try doing the blue. I painted the blue blob. I looked back at the whole thing and I said, nope. The yellow one is still weird. Let me try adding another one. I'll add the purple to the right side over here. And I'm still looking at this yellow one. I added the pink and the yellow. I even fixed the orange up and the yellow. It was just not right. 
It was not sitting well with my soul. Let me just say that. <laughs> So I decided to cover it with red. I even fixed the little white part on the play button. And then I was able to really look at it and visualize, okay, where do I want the yellow to go? I know, the exact same spot. Well, technically it's not the same spot, okay? It's a little to the right and up. It's very different, okay? Does this actually change anything? Probably not, but it made me feel better. I also added a glob of dark green paint to the middle bottom. I liked the blob itself, but I did not like the color. So I painted over it with dark purple. I liked that a little more. After I got all those colors down, I took out lighter versions of each color and added like a highlight area to the globs because I want these paint globs to look like actual paint globs. They have to have a little bit of a shine to it. They have to have a lighter area, a darker area, some shading, etc. Every time I use this color, I must point out that its name is Celery. That is the most ridiculous paint color name and I love it so much. Celery? Why? You know what I just realized? I called these highlight colors, but I guess technically they're the mid-tone because I will be adding an actual highlight after this and this is why no one should call me an artist. The thing I like being called probably the most is just a YouTuber. I really enjoy making videos the most out of anything I do. I obviously love arts and crafts and painting and coloring and drawing and everything that I do on my my channel I obviously like to do but the thing that I love is editing doing my voiceovers making jokes that no one finds funny but me so what am I saying here honestly I have totally lost the thread of what is going on what am I talking about ah yes the paint the globs of paint I am painting the mid-tones and after I have finished that I took out my white paint and started painting the highlights the highlights are really meant to make the paint look nice and shiny, juicy, really give it that delicious effect. This is obviously a cartoon version of paint blobs. Sometimes I paint realistically, but usually I paint in a cartoon type of style. I just enjoy that more, so that's what I'm doing here. For the shading, I used two different colors. This burgundy color I used behind each of the paint globs, and this silver color I used behind the paint blobs that were touching the white play button. I feel like the burgundy shading is the thing that made these little paint globs or blobs. Globs or blobs, I don't know, which one do we think it is? Whatever, it made them pop out. I also decided to add a little bit of this burgundy shading to the right and bottom side of the play button. And I also decided to paint the left and top side of this rectangle with the burgundy color. This is already a 3D rectangle, but I feel like adding the shading to the sides makes it look more 3D or more cartoonish. I don't know. I guess I just liked the way it looked, so I did it. I took out the white paint again for the last time and added my signature to the left side of the rectangle. Once that's done, it's time for my favorite thing to paint on stuff, Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. I love this stuff. I have been looking for a glossy sealant for a while. I've tried Mod Podge, I've tried Decoupage, I've tried different like sprays, and Liquitex is my absolute favorite. It was recommended to me by one of you guys in the comments, and I love it. Okay, without further ado, here's the before and the after for our rectangle play button with an art twist. The YouTube artist play button if you will. I enjoy this because it clearly indicates where we are and what we're doing. If you want to see me paint on more stuff, I have a playlist dedicated to painting on things. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next week for another one. Hopefully I'll be painting on that cupcake. Bye!